Hey guys, this is Kara Jane with Ice Cream for Buttercream and today we're going to make a tall cake or a double barrel cake, whichever you prefer to call it. But today for simplicity's sake, we're gonna go with tall cake. So the first thing I wanna talk about before we get into making the tall cake is that any cake that's gonna be taller than three layers needs support if you're gonna be adding more layers to that. So by support, I just mean you need to dowel it and there needs to be a cake board that's gonna separate those. So essentially what you have here is you've got a two-tiered cake. It's just the top tier and the bottom tier just happen to be the exact same size. And it just makes it all one piece so it looks like all one cake. Okay, so I wanna go through a couple of different options to do these tall cakes. And option one is you may want to do three layers of cake on top, three layers of cake on the bottom. And then in between those is a smaller cake board. And then under that, through the bottom layer, is gonna be doweling. And I usually like to use uh, more than two, but that's all that you can see on this uh, sort of two-dimensional drawing here. Um, but you wanna put in several dowels, and I always leave the very middle without a dowel in it because I like to use a center dowel all the way through it, even through the bottom cake base, so that the cake is very stable and it doesn't try to tip over on you. Okay, so that's option one, three layers of cake on top and three layers of cake on bottom, separated by a cake board and doweled. Okay, so option two is two layers of cake on the top and two layers of cake on the bottom, separated by a cake board, and those are also doweled as well. Option three is what I've done for you today, and I've got two layers of cake on the top and three layers of cake on the bottom. And I just went with a six inch round cake, and so when I was building this, I did the three layers, the cake board, and I added two more layers, and I saw that it was getting a little too tall. I didn't want it to go any taller, so I just stopped at the two layers on top. There's nothing that says that you have to have an even amount of layers on the top part as opposed to the bottom part. So I just went with two on the top and three on the bottom. Just make sure you have that cake board in between and you're doweling. Okay, so let's get started making the tall cake. So first you want to make sure that all of your cake layers are completely level. And I like to use a little piece of non-stick on my turntable. And then I'm using a thicker cake base and then I'm going to add a little bit of melted candy melts to the middle of the cake base. And that's what I'm going to put my actual cake board that goes right underneath the cake. But this way the cake board doesn't slip around on me. So I'm just gonna attach the cake board the same size as the cake layers. And I'm gonna allow that to firm up. Sometimes I even put it in the refrigerator to kind of cool it down a little bit. And I just like to add a little bit of the melted candy melts to that cake board before I stick my first layer of cake on it. Kind of holds it in place. And now we're just going to start stacking cake layers and filling them with buttercream. And I do have a recipe for the buttercream. If you want to go to the blog and grab that, I will put a link in the description below. Okay, I'm gonna put another cake board on top and use a little mini level just to make sure I've got everything kind of looking pretty level here. Okay, I'm adding a little buttercream on top. And we are going to add in some doweling and then another cake board before we add our other two layers of cake on top. I'm using an edible marker to mark my dowels and I'm using some heavy plastic dowels. If you do use straws, don't use those cheap McDonald's straws or anything like that that you can get in a little package um, from your grocery store. Those are too cheap and too flimsy. If you use straws, you can use the bubble tea straws, depending on how heavy your cake is. Those are kind of thicker straws, or you can get these plastic dowels, or you can use wood dowels if you want. So I like to cut every dowel the same size so I know that the cake is level. And then I'm just going to insert them into the cake and leaving the middle part without a dowel because we're gonna put a center dowel right through the middle of the whole cake. 
And now I'm going to take another cake board, the same size as the bottom cake board, the same size as the cake layers, and I'm going to cut around it to make it a little bit smaller because once we get the icing on the entire cake, we don't want any of that middle cake board peeking through. Okay, so we just pop it on the top. And I'm just checking to make sure that everything looks pretty level. And I'm just gonna add a tiny bit of the Wilton melted candy melts just so this next layer sticks to it pretty well. And then we're just going to continue on filling and adding our last layer of cake. And I'm just making sure it's level. Okay, now I'm going to measure for the center dowel. I'm just using a wooden dowel here. And you want to cut it long enough so that it's going to go through the entire cake and through the bottom of the cake base. And I just want to sharpen one end of it so that it goes in easily. So on top of this, you're going to add another cake board and then you just want to see if there's gonna be any cake that's gonna be sticking out once you add the icing to it and just trim that off. You may have to trim a little bit less than I did. I'm just checking to make sure, because once you go around the cake with your icing smoother, you don't want any cake peeking out, and I trimmed quite a bit off of mine. Okay, here's the fun part. You're just gonna be adding the buttercream. You want to add the buttercream to the top, and what we're going to do here is we're going to add a little bit of buttercream to a cake board the same size of the cake, and we're going to stick on a piece of wax paper onto that that is cut the same size as the board. Pop it on top, and make sure it's pretty even, top and the sides. This is going to help us get a smooth finish to our cake. It kind of gives us a little guide, and I'm just making sure the sides and the top are even, and then we're just gonna add the buttercream around the side. I like to use the method of the board on top and board on bottom, because when I smooth the cake, it kind of gives me a guideline to make sure that it's, the cake's not gonna look leaning, it's gonna be straight up and down. And just keep adding more buttercream and smoothing as you go. You may have to add in a little bit here and there to clean up any little spots. Sometimes I switch my smoothers. Okay, and now we're getting ready to um, work on the watercolor for the cake, and so I'm just adding a little bit of white buttercream. And I'm gonna be adding pink on the bottom just to give it a little watercolor look. And then you just smooth it with your buttercream smoother until it's completely smooth. You can even put your buttercream smoother in some hot water and smooth it around too to get it even smoother. And I'm just using a small buttercream spatula here that I have gotten really hot with some hot water and I'm going underneath that top board to slide it off. Just go slow and make sure you peel the wax paper off. Then I'm using a hot spatula to smooth the very top of it. I'm just dipping it in water, wiping it off, and then making sure the top is real smooth. Once you've got your top smooth, make sure to clean off around the base of your cake and then you can just pop on whatever decorations that you want. So I added this gum paste rose, and if you're interested to know how to make this, I'll put a link in the description below. I have a three-part series that will tell you all about how to make a large gum paste rose. Okay, that's how you make a tall cake. So if you have any questions, just be sure to let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.